Um, and there's the, the some stuff I'm going to pick up. <laughs> and that's a side quest. That's a character that has a side quest for us, so we could potentially engage, but not feeling it right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to leave the woman alone. Uh, just to be sure, we, we are going to go and show you guys a little bit of the story, but not too much. No, we don't want to spoil too much. No, we're just going to play through it. We're going to do some open world stuff. And maybe, if I feel like it, take on a Thunder Jeff. Ooh. Maybe. That that sounds. Uh, it sounds very dangerous. foolhardy. No, it sounds very. Dangerous. I mean, it's still quite early in the game, right? You, Thunderjaw is like that's uh, hardcore, man. Yeah. Uh, so I killed some wildlife. Got some uh, some stuff that I can use for crafting later on. Uh, and yeah, let's just enjoy the view. Ah. Enjoy the view. The fresh outdoors. The fresh. Oh yeah, and then, so these are like medicinal uh, herbs you can uh, get up. And then you see that your, um, uh, is it your pouch? Yeah, your pouch kind of fills up um, with some medicines that you can use later on uh, if you need it. I'm going to leave that box there. Right and get some wood, because that's handy for arrows. And then we're actually already here. I can test the override. So device. should go in quiet. That's our mount. That's that's, that's, uh, that's a strider. Right. right, right there. I can just uh, use my focus to scan it. Let's use a weak point. Uh, but there might be some other machines there. Um, oh wait, I just got some stuff uh, that I need to uh, fix my mic because it's muffled. I don't know. Is it better now? Give me feedback, people. Um, so anyway, um, there's some striders over here, right there, but there might also be some watchers lurking because they usually, uh, you know, take, uh, take good care of these, uh, these striders and... Uh, yeah, they should have called them lurkers. Lurkers? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go in, because this one is not paying attention. Nice and quiet. And I'm gonna override it. And... Okay, here it goes! Riding it. Yeah, 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 you got it. Now it's ready to do your bidding. Yeah, now I can just uh, use it. There we go. That a boy. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Ride into the sunset. Ride. Ride like the wind. Yeah. We should name this one. The horse? I mean, sorry, the strider. Yeah, the strider. Like. And it will stick to the paths. Uh, <laughs> the strider so is fast. The controls, <laughs> this beats the walking. Here. Ooh! Oh, there, horsey! I should try to ride it. This sounds like fighting. Oh, yeah, this is also like one of the things. I can call my mouse if I need it. So I can just use my uh, D pad, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. As you can hear, there's a fight going on. So. Yeah, the gate looks a little. Uh, Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Busted. Closer! Varro, I take it? <laughs> Aloy. The outcast who won the proving. So you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? Oh. No. A traitor named Olin. The matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Oh. And then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. So, if you can see, there's a dialogue options over here. Uh, we're not going to go into too much detail, shall we? Not too much. And, um, yeah, let's just do a little bit of uh, some information. But, 
Not too much detail because we don't want to spoil the story for you guys. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. All right. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. Now, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I... I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. All right, so now we picked up another uh, part of the quest. Strider! No, no, don't attack. It's and, with me. Um, How is that possible? We can go into the menu and uh, show a little bit of where we need to go. So this is where we need to go. And there's some uh, fog of war, which is handily there, uh, which will probably, if if you would uh, walk past these lines, that will open up, so you uh, you get to see more of the surroundings uh, but I heard that you guys want to see a little bit Some more of the customization option so let's go there so you can put it in dynamic but there's always uh, the custom uh, HUD so oh, wow. there's a lot of inf there's a lot of stuff that you can kind of tinker with when do you want stuff to be to be able to appear it's either dynamic always on or off you can also play the entire game with everything off if you would like to do that um, but yeah, it's it's all up it's all up to you on how you want to customize that uh, that HUD. So also, uh, people are asking if we're playing on a normal PS4 or PS4 Pro. Or this is a normal uh, PS4. Yeah, yeah. So there's some spoils of war over here. Some watchers that got there. Uh, can I just can I just I'm say war, war Party Massacre is an awesome name for a band? <laughs> it's a, it is. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, like like one of those three thousand years in the future like metal bands. Like. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fine. <laughs> Let me just. I don't know. I'll just, I'm gonna pick up some wood. I'm just gonna, you know. Because. Uh, yeah, man. You that do. Might, that might come in handy. You know. It's not that I've never played this section before. So the wood you craft arrows from that. Is there yes. anything else you can craft from wood? Nope. Okay. Specifically arrows and uh, well, basically your your ammo type. So you have different ammo types. As you can see here, if I want to craft some uh, some rope, I can have some shards and some uh, some wires. Uh, and, and I need some shards and wires, and I need some specific elements for it. So yeah, I can do that sort of stuff. Then I can also upgrade um, some stuff so it can go to crafting and then I can upgrade my carry capacity so for instance my blast sling ammo or my tripcaster ammo pouch uh, just click it and then I can see how much uh, stuff I have and I can uh, can upgrade it so let's just upgrade it all right and then you can see I need like one fox bone and, and five times rich meat which I do not have currently so I can also uh, uh, take that and add that to it um, I can also modify my weapons. It's also in the crafting menu. So I have the different weapons right now. Uh, so if I use this one, I can resist some uh, melee attacks. So let's do that. Yeah, that sounds useful. There we go. And, uh, oh, spoiler trophy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, it's already there. Um, and then I just, you know what? I'll just equip this one as well. So here we go. All right, all right. I, have my, I don't know why I have my tripcaster selected. It's kind of useless. Well, right now. But oh, just a little bit. Should we talk to him? Who is he? I don't know. I don't know. He looks kind of shifty. Maybe we should move yeah, on. Yeah, we should move on. He looks shifty. Let's move on. Um, no, um, yeah. So one of the things we can do here. Well, let's just. You know what? Let's let's just do that. 
let me just go here and show you one of the side activities you can do, which is a uh, hunting ground. All right, nice. Yeah, you can talk to the guy and he will explain that this is hunting ground, but yeah. I just want to show it. I don't know, something in his posture, like, I don't know. He was he was uh, having issues with the hunting ground. He got kind of beat up. Oh, okay. So he was I fine, but yeah. He was going to ask you for help. And yeah. I'll talk to the keeper. This is a hunting grounds, right? What do you do here exactly? Mm. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. You have the matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land? Yes, but I would have gone even without their permission. Is that so? Then maybe you and I can speak. I represent an organization called the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. We test promising young hunters with trials in places like these. You might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Why don't you sample the trials and see? Just to be clear, though, I'd appreciate it if you kept our conversation in confidence, especially when it comes to the matriarchs. So, let's take uh, one of the trials. Uh, so let's start one. Take your pick. Which trial interests you? I'll I will go for the easy one because I know I can make that one. <laughs> Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts. So I need to shoot ten as as uh, canisters of the grazers. That's a good one. Timing begins once you slide down a rope. So it's a time-based challenge uh, that you can do. There's a couple more, depending on your difficult, de depending on what you need to do, it's it's more difficult than the others. Um, but yeah, this is a simple one I can show you guys. So we'll just get in there. So in the meantime, there's a question from the uh, from the chat asking: uh, Do monsters always spawn in a set point, or are the spawns randomly generated? Uh, some monsters. Uh, I think the answer to the question is always uh, spawning at that point, but we also have random encounters throughout the map. And you'll find different kinds of, uh, of monsters, well, machines, to be correct, uh, at, uh, in different regions. Uh, but some of them will, you'll, you'll find everywhere, like watchers are almost everywhere. And yeah, watchers are almost everywhere. They tend to stick to a certain yeah. area, but they're still within that area. So, okay, then now. I'm probably gonna not make this uh, this one uh, get a good medal for it, but let me just pick up this stuff because it's so valuable. Well, there they are. There they are. Uh, let me get one good shot in there. So they're alerted. Yeah. These things don't attack. Ah. Well, they, some do. Sometimes when they're cornered, they will. Uh, but usually shot. they'll just stampede. Why would he put his face in front of my arrow? There, yeah. Well, come on, you. You never saw an arrow before. Uh, how many do you need? Ten, I think. I got seven right now. Oh, what? Easy. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Can you shoot him off posthumously? No. So I'm not going to get a good time here. My time is going to be terrible. Well, as long as you, you know, get 10. Another question... Yeah, 10 uh, would be fine. I got 10. I got another 10. question from the chat is, does the game have Dutch menus or is everything in English? Uh, no, it does have Dutch menus. Uh, so the language will be English, spoken language. Yeah, the, yeah exactly. Um, some, some languages will have localization, though I don't have a... I don't remember from you know, uh, which ones are localized fully. Not from the top of my head, but you can play with English subtitles and then have a different language uh, in, in, in terms of text. Let me see that. I'm really struggling here. What? Okay, nice. I need one more. I need uh, one more. Right in front of me. Yeah, there we go. go. So I completed. Done that. I done that. So that's that's what I did. That's good. 
And I can go up and then uh, talk to the guy again. Some traversal. Yep. There you go. There you go. And then... Come on, Aloy. You got this. There we go. Talk to our dude. Yep. First time out, and that's how you do it. Here's a half sum. Go a little faster next time, and you'll earn a full sum. So, yeah, let's just say farewell. I have to go. I'll be here if you decide to come back. And then because I use a lot of arrows, I'm just going to craft some right here. There we go. And I got like a special box. So it's a treasure box. So we don't know the different kind of treasure boxes. Obviously, this is uncommon. And you have like legendary ones as well, depending on. Uh, and it's always filled with something. Right. So you can always use that uh, for either your modifications or to craft some more materials um, or use it uh, f uh, with traders to get specific uh, items. So now we've seen you take on like uh, machines. Th do you think like in the in this uh, in this particular section we'll be able to show off human combat, or is that like for later? Uh, no, I think we can show off human combat. That we'll probably get uh, to that at a certain point. All right. There, there might be some uh, bandit camps that we can uh, we can engage with. Oh, that just hurt. Let me just heal up real quick. There was a piggy. A what boar. was that? A boar. Oh. That was a boar. Uh, just let me just collect this stuff that was laying around here. Some blaze and some wood because I've been using some arrows. And what is blaze? Blaze are canisters that um, kind of, sort of. Uh, how do you say that? It's uh, it's it's a component that the um, machines use, uh -huh. and it's highly flammable. Ah, okay, so it's like incendiary sort of. Yeah. Okay. So you can use that uh, if you uh, against them, basically. Just quick save over here. So these these ones are littered around, like loads of them. You can find uh, across the whole uh, whole map. And then we can talk to the trader, see what he has, and he has some weapons that we might or might not. But you know, there's like different kind of weapons. You have slingshots, some rope casters. Uh, this is like a rattler. I saw uh, some YouTubers of some some YouTubers using this during the event. Um, I can go for the uh, Karja Hunter bow. Um, I kind of want to go for this one later on because right. I want to take on the Thunderjaw and I kind of need a certain arrow. Okay, so. Depending on how it goes today, but just to be clear, like the, you're, you're taking on the Thunderjaw extraordinarily early. Yes. Uh, for a playthrough of the game, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna. There's danger ahead, girl. Danger for you, Outlander. This is Norland. Yes, yes, yes. Trespass is forbidden on pain of death. Strange phrase, the pain of death. See, this one's in no pain at all. Who was he? A thief. Slaver, a killer, the kind that give honest killers a bad name. Farl told me there would be bandit ambushes on the road. Well, it's not all good news. They don't always come to you. Most dig out a camp and there they'll sit like spoil on meat. Unless someone does something about it? I like you. Follow the trail of smoke on the other side of the ruins. I'll be there. So he's talking about bandit camps. Uh, so those are also uh, here in uh, the World of Horizon. My focus is picking up but some kind of. Signal. There's something there. Maybe I can scan it. Somewhere. Uh, the chat is asking if there's uh, an inventory limit of some sort. Uh, yes, but like I said, you can upgrade your inventory. Right. So after a while, if you find that you know you're running out of space, then you can probably go to a merchant or something. Uh, no, you can just hunt uh, and craft yourself. Oh, nice! So you don't have to go to a merchant to uh, to increase your inventory. You just um, need the specific elements. Like for instance, I can I can show you by the way. So the crafting, you can hear the, the carry capacity, right? Yes. So. Uh, right now, hunter, bow, quiver, or trap pouches, that sort of stuff. Potions pouch, for instance. 
you can see that I need shards, I need some rich wood, and I need a 15 times a metal vessel. So I need to hunt for those uh, those metal vessels in this case. Got it. Yeah. And then I can I can say create a job, and then um, the game will show me a location where I will be able to hunt for those metal vessels. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a uh, tool to show you. Okay, so you need this. Well, you can go there, and then either. You just it depends on where it will um, will send you to, but it is uh, it's more about yeah, hunting other robots to get the right parts. But right now, as you can see, I've picked up that signal, and I'm kind of curious to what that is. By the way, the chat since you mentioned the rattler, a lot of people would really like to see that in action. All right, I'm, I'll uh, I'll purchase that. In a, in a <laughs> Maybe. I need so, to that signal that Aloy is picking up is uh, from this beauty over there walking in the distance. It's hard to see, I'm going to get a little bit closer. By the way, I'm just stocking up on health potions. Right. Because, you know. So, ancient debris, so there's some seed, there's some stuff. Some ancient stuff. What could it be? Sorry, am I teasing too much? <laughs> so here, here he comes. Uh -huh. So this is a little puppy. It's called the Talmak. And we've all seen uh, the Talmak in uh, one of the trailers. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna see if I can get on top of this one. Oh, without being spotted. But yeah. Oh, oh so really much for not being spotted. Well, he's coming down the stairs. That's useful. There's, there's a friend. Uh, there was a friend. And yeah, this guy. Another one. There's another one. Oh. Two more. Try it again? Yeah. Got it. You got it. So, um, because um, we're a hunter, uh, always search for your stuff. Maybe yeah. you shut down or just destroy these ones. So, do the difficulty and, and the size of the individual machine species, like, do they vary? So, like, oh. it, these are, for instance, these are, like, easy stalkers, and if you encounter stalkers later in the game, they become be more difficult, or are they always, like, the same difficulty? In it depends on, uh, so the, the watchers are um, generally very aggressive when they come in groups. Right. And ah, so they so the group size might, for instance, might vary. They're, they're, they they can be very annoying at sometimes. So like like you saw me shoot them down with one arrow. Yeah. That's usually if you shoot them in the eye, it will happen. But like scrappers, for instance, those will uh, put up a bigger fight, and then you have sawtooths, yeah, who will uh, pick up even more big of a bigger fight. So yeah, it's, it depends on the size of the machine, basically. So let's just overwrite this one. And, uh, Sorry about this. Take off. and for uh, one of the other questions that people are asking, what elements of the game uh, change when you play it on harder difficulty? Ah, yeah, that's a good one. So you see me picking up a lot of wood, uh, rich wood, and uh, yeah, before I'm gonna do this, uh, a lot of rich wood and herbs and stuff, and that will be limited. Uh -huh. So there will be a limited supply of those things. I'm not going to tell too much about that, but that's one of the things. Obviously, damage that machines deal would be a lot more. So you need to be very careful uh, and need to really up your skills. But specifically, there will be less uh, herbs and less rich wood uh, in, the, in the areas. So uh, this is the, this is the fa my favorite part of the, of the game. Basically. Who does that? Who jumps off and then throws the hook? Uh, ooh, uh, Nathan Drake? I don't know. Batman? So, no, Aloy does. Oh, right, Aloy, yes, of course. So, I knew yeah. that was the answer you were looking There are a couple of these, uh, these Talnics uh, on the world map. Um, and like I said, it will clear up a little bit fog of war and we'll, you'll get more more details on, on stuff that's that's there. So one of the things, this is a bandit camp uh, you could take on. Um, there's a bellow back over here which you could take on, which is not a good idea. 
but uh, yeah, that's also a possibility. Uh, but we are on our way to Mother's Crown, if I'm not mistaken. But um, let's just go and see if we can go there. And then we'll show you guys a little bit more of the economy stuff. I know you want me to purchase a Rattler, which I will. Uh, but not quite now. I just want you to see the little settlement down here. Maybe we can also see the uh, the toes on the, uh, on the Talmag. Oh, you're, you're talking about the toes of the Talmag because of the uh, our cosplayers? You want to see the Tutsi Those, Yeah, those went wild there when we they saw the toes for some reason. Yeah, toes. Look at that. It's got to be like 10 toes a foot. Careful though. Oh! oh. I got kicked. I, I died. Anyway, so yeah, don't... Stand in front of the feet of a of a tall neck. No, it, they look harmless, but really they but will stomp you. Those toes will definitely knock you out. Yeah, yeah. So where does it throw you back now? Why? Uh, so the last campfire I uh, I used to save my progress. Okay. So I'm right there. So it's fine. And uh, we have some crazies, and this is a. So this is a sawtooth. Uh huh. Which um, I am not going to engage with because it's dangerous. Uh, well, it's, it's yeah, it's strong. I might be able to finish it, but um, it's not going to be easy. So I, uh, I need to go through there. You need to rely on stealth. I need to rely on stealth a little bit. Speed, speed, and not make too much noise. As you can see, my little eye uh, icon. Uh, if I stand up, I will make no more noise than if I would be crouching. And obviously, I will be invisible when I am uh, in tall grass. So, right. Later on, when we get the chance, we should uh, take probably a sawtooth. Uh, yeah. Also, no. I was going to say uh, maybe uh, demonstrate photo mode a little bit as well. Wait, we have photo mode? Well, yeah. Do we? <laughs> you mean this? Yeah, that thing. Wow. Well, we don't need to do it now. We're just well, I'm just doing it now. Okay. It's, it's too late for that. So, yeah, uh, photo mode. Uh, it's like it's basically a free cam, but it's tied to the radius of Aloy. So she doesn't have to be in the shot always. You can just, you know, take a shot of this, for instance. Yeah. Um, you can... Um, depth of uh, the, the, your field of view so you can go close up so you can do a little bit more, more long distance ones and then you can add just your roll if you make it more like dynamic to. yeah I could hide Aloy or not I can uh, change depth of field which is fun yeah you can see that and then you can change the aperture as well so how strong you want the depth of field to be um, what else can I do? Let me just. Uh, oh yeah, brightness obviously. So I can do that. Overexpose or underexpose. Uh, I can colorize it, make it more vibrant. Black and white, sepia, blue, warm glow, pink, whatever. Right, all the uh, the Instagram photo filter, so to yeah. speak. Uh, intensity of the of the of it, obviously. I can change the time of day. Now this, this is hardcore. Look at this. Oh wow! So you see the sun glaring in over there. It just hurts your eyes almost. It's nice, right? The shadows popping in. Um, wait, let me just go back into a little bit of a sunset over here. You can see the shadows on there as well. Uh, you can put borders in there. So uh huh. Oh look, it's well, like the stream really was earlier. <laughs> Ouch. I'm sorry. And then we have hearts <gasps> because, you know. Oh, nice. Why not? Uh, put a logo in there if you want to put a logo in there. I heard they originally um, they wanted to... And you to can put uh, a vignette in there as well. Oh, ah, nice. See, so yeah. How big you want a vignette, how strong you want the vignette. So yeah, there's, yeah. there's like options. And uh, oh yeah, crane up, crane down, hide the UI. And uh, if I go back, it will be evening again. Ah, uh, okay. I heard originally they one also wanted like a, a, 